Peggy Whitson, the first woman to command the space station. The mission included installation of the Harmony module on the station and relocation of the truss and solar array that had been folded on STS-116. The 105-foot-long solar array tore while unfurling. After studying the situation, Mission Control devised a solution which called for the crew to make cufflink-type devices out of wire straps to mend and stabilize the array. Scott Parazinski and Doug Wheelock installed the devices, and the array was deployed. We've got deployed discreets, two deployed discreets. Yay! All right. Beautiful. Great news. Beautiful. What an accomplishment. Nice teamwork. The 15-day mission was Discovery's longest. On STS-124 in May 2008, Discovery headed back to the station to deliver the centerpiece of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's experiment laboratory, Kibo, which means hope in Japanese. STS-124 was the second of three shuttle flights to deliver elements of Kibo, the station's largest laboratory. JAXA astronaut Aki Hoshide and NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg